Unreal Engine 5 has been revealed, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the early access today. That's right, so they announced it about a year ago, and in the last week, Epic have come out and made the early access of Unreal Engine 5 available to download. You did it. You crazy son of a bitch, you did So I want to show you how to get it so that you can be ahead of the curve, start learning it today, and then when it properly releases, when they get a stable version out, you will already be able to use it. So let's jump in. So if we go to my desktop, there it is, and my screen's over here. What we're going to do is, so if you've already got the Epic Games launcher, so if you've used Unreal Engine 4, or if you just happen to play Fortnite or anything like that, you'll have the Epic Games launcher. So let's open that up. Here we go. So it brings you to this. This is a fairly um, familiar tab if you've used the launcher before. Now you can see there's an Unreal Engine 4 tab, which is where you would find all the Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine, there, all the Unreal Engine 4 stuff. Um, but over here, there's now an Unreal Engine 5 tab. Oh my God. So let's go there. It loads up and here is what we need. So. Unreal Engine 5, early access, that means you can get it right now. And it is a very, very simple process. We click on download early access. And you can see it basically gives you a warning. It's not production ready. This is just so that you can start working with it. And if you are determined to release a game in Unreal Engine 5, get that development happening sooner rather than later. So it gives you your warning. We're just gonna say, yeah, install it. We're not scared. We're just gonna go for it. Install, boss. Okay, now the problem is, that it's a big old download. So what we're gonna have to do now is uh, wait, I guess. So I'm gonna, I'll meet you on the other side. When this is downloaded, uh, we'll get it open, shall we? Okay then, so the download has just finished. It took about 90 minutes to two hours. I've been waiting here for a long time, uh, which was boring. Anyway, uh, what we need to do now is we can just launch it like any version of the engine. So you can see I've got 4.26 installed, but here is version 5 early access. It tells us that it's the first early access, and we can just click on launch to launch it. Oh, <laughs> and we get this uh, nice new splash screen. It's all glowy and stuff, which I'm a big fan of, to be honest. I like it when things just look new. And here she is. So we've got our nice new kind of project browser here. Um, I think basically they've given it a nice spruce up across the entire application everything just looks nicer so if we were going to do game uh, and we'll just do the standard third person template you see everything just looks much nicer oh it's good and um, we'll just create a new project in fact let's turn it off can we turn off where's start content Pfft, whatever and here it is, this is Unreal Engine 5. As you can see, it does look a little bit different, but also very familiar. And that's all I wanted to cover. So uh, it's not a particularly difficult process, but it's one that I wanted to make sure you were aware of so you could jump on Unreal Engine 5 as quickly as possible. And if I didn't show you, I just wouldn't have been able to sleep. So now I feel much better. And that's it then, a quick video, but an important one, I think. Now you have got Unreal Engine 5, and you're ready to start learning and developing. If you do want to learn Unreal Engine 5, make sure you subscribe to the channel because over the coming weeks and months, I'm gonna be putting out lots of information, tutorials about Unreal Engine 5 so that we can all learn it together. I'm very much looking forward to it. Over the next few videos, I'll be looking at Lumen, I'll be looking at Nanite, I'll also be going over my top new features of the engine. So make sure you are subscribed for all of that goodness. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in a future video. Bye. I'm able to continue making these videos thanks to the ongoing support of my amazing Patreon community. If you'd also like to support Game Dev Academy via Patreon, then check out the link in the description below. Thank you.